Well, aloha cruisers and welcome on the Norwegian Spirit. We're here in Hawaii. Can you believe it? We're going to be visiting four different islands and we're taking you along. So let's go on with this. Let's waste no more time. Join us on this epic adventure. Good morning, David. Good morning. So, so excited for another Hawaiian adventure today. And it's just the first day of many. Can't wait. Last night, I slept okay until about five o'clock this morning. It was so, so noisy in this cabin. We're right under, it sounds like the kitchens. You can literally hear them rolling trolleys across the floor and I don't know what it is but there is some sort of cranking there's also like a banging it sounded like something was loose but it wasn't coming from inside our cabin and we couldn't find out where it was we looked like crazy people at two o'clock in the morning like pulling out bags yeah, and we... things trying to find if there was something loose in a suitcase but it was almost like something was going like bang it's, Bang. it's the loudest I've had a cabin ever, which is disappointing, but we'll try and get it sorted out. But we're going to go for some breakfast. Hopefully that will wake us up, eh, David? Yeah, I need some coffee. Um, but I'm not looking forward to 16 nights with that noise. And I was very tired last night, so I slept through most of it, I think. But imagine if I'm not. I'm a bit nervous. Let's go. Let's get coffee. Yes, there's nothing that coffee can't fix, isn't there? Anyway, we're heading down to deck seven. One good thing is that our cabin's in a great location. We're right next to the aft staircase, which is awesome. But the local is the 24 hour pub on board and it serves complimentary food 24 hours, which is brilliant. We love that about Norwegian. So let's head down and eat. Then we're gonna get off and enjoy this amazing island. We're on the big island today in the port of Kona. This video is sponsored by Babbel. Let me tell you why this summer is the perfect time to dive into language learning. Imagine sipping a cocktail on a sun-kissed beach while effortlessly conversing with locals in their native tongue. Que tal? Soy David. Encantado de conocerte. For me, it's all about breaking barriers and making meaningful connections. I believe that by understanding someone's language, you get an insight into their culture, their perspectives, plus you build new friendships. Babbel understands that life is busy and finding time to learn a new language can be challenging. And that's why Babbel fits seamlessly into your daily routine with quick 15 minute lessons. And what's great, Babbel is scientifically proven to help you start speaking a new language in just three weeks. The lessons are short, fun and designed to get you speaking confidently from day uno. So click the link in the description section below or scan the QR code here to get a huge 60% off your Babbel subscription. And best of all, if you're not happy, Babbel offer a 20 day money back guarantee. ¿A qué estás esperando? Ah, so here we are in the lovely local. I really do love this place. And I've got to say the theming in here is indeed freaking delicious. <laughs> what? Arr. Just the arr. I said arr like a pirate. Oh well, I ha it's because I haven't had my coffee yet. Anyway, I've got some coffee, the nectar of gods. We're on corner right now, guys. So definitely going to be trying some corner coffee and some other treats as well. But we've got a really exciting day ahead of us, but I'm going to go and have a little sip of this bad boy. That's offensive. What is it? It's like dirty dishwater. It's like watered down coffee. Unfortunately, if you do want the good coffee anyway, you've got to pay for it, even if you're on the drinks package, which really sucks. So we're just gonna have to deal with this or buy some Starbucks coffee, but this is a, uh, I think I need about 64 of these because I usually have 32 coffees in the morning. So if I have 64 with the half amount of coffee in it, I think I might be okay, but it's better than nothing here, isn't it? I know it's been a long crossing, but I think they're on rations. I know, right? That's not good coffee. Oh, and good morning, Stephanie. Good morning. We're gonna have a really fun day today. Good morning today. Woo! for sandwich. My gosh, it looks lovely. Look at the size of this thing. Let's try and get my mouth around it, hey? Well, slap me with a wave and call me the ocean. That is absolutely delicious. Super tasty. It's got ham in there, cheese, scrambled eggs, every single thing you need in a breakfast sandwich. Also got the hash browns as well. So let's do it. Let's do the hash brown test. See if these bad boys are crispy and delicious. I'm getting lots of notes of crunch. It's like a symphony in my mouth. That is delicious, really. Beautifully potatoy, oniony, very good indeed. What did you get, David? It looks like a smiley face. I got the veggie omelette, and it also comes with hash browns. It does look like a big smiley face, doesn't it? I can see it's all fluffy. Look at the nice fluff texture in there. Wonderful. That is really delicious. Great way to start the day here in Kona. I'm going to save myself on the coffee as well. I only got one cup because I definitely want to get a Kona coffee when we're on the island. So I went for a tea. Look at this. I feel like Mary Poppins and everything. That's gigantic, David. I know, it's a proper teapot. How very posh. 
This is all of the stuff we're taking, cameras, sunscreen, batteries, ID, all of that jazz. Time to go. So today is a tender port, so we're going to get on one of the lifeboats to go to port. Let's do this. That was the most beautiful sailing ever. A little bumpy, but worth it. Yay! We are here. That only took about 10 minutes. It was super smooth in the end. First stop, we're going to go for some blowing coffee. Desperate. Let me tell you, that coffee wasn't good this morning, so we desperately need some coffee, guys. Let's go on the hunt for some corner coffee. This port so far is very different to Honolulu. Honolulu felt very American. It felt a little bit like the uh, Florida for kind of Fort Lauderdale vibes. Whereas this feels a little bit more rugged. And I don't mean that in a bad way, I mean that in a really nice way. Like the buildings are really pretty. It's not massive high rises. The water is absolutely beautiful. Yeah, so I'm really excited. When I think of Hawaii, this is the sort of pictures that I think of. This is the view that I think of. I've got blue balls. Awesome. Oh, no, thank you. That sounds not nice. Donkey balls, blue balls, chocolate covered macadamia nuts. I may have to purchase. Oh, so we found a coffee shop and this looks lovely. They've got loads of different versions of corner coffee. And we're just trying all of the different types. Oh, that's giving me some donkey balls. That's absolutely delicious. Tasty as. Got a dark roast chocolate macadamia nut coffee. It's all plant-based. There's no sugars, nothing like that. It all comes from the oils. That is so flavorful. It's got a really intense flavor to it. Dark coffee and dark chocolate flavor. Mmm, yummy. Ooh, We've got some pea berry espresso beans covered in chocolate. Let's go have a little taste. Apparently three of those is equal to one espresso. So these could be pretty lethal if you have lots of them. You'll be bouncing around. You don't need any Red Bull. These are going to give you wings. Oh my God. That is freaking delicious. Oh, these are lethal guys. I just want to eat them all. Oh, yummy. Ooh, so I went for the iced dark roast corner coffee. Let's have a taste, shall we? Been looking forward to this for weeks. Real corner coffee, let's have a try. Oh, that is delicious. It tastes really unusual. It's very strong and beautiful. Cheers, happy Ben. Right, we're doing a cheers and go. Ah, I don't know why I made a noise. That was a little disturbing. Made a noise, that was really weird. Sorry. So we finished our coffee, that was absolutely lovely. What a view that was as well. And there was loads of little geckos about they were the most colourful, beautiful little things. But we're just going to head to the shops now because we need a few things. So we've just came to the ABC stores. You find them everywhere in Hawaii. They sell a bit of everything. Just needed some bug spray because I keep getting bit, bit. But guys, look what I found. Bengi. It's me. What is this? Oh, it's for muscle aches. Bengi. Should buy some really and take it home. Just hired out some snorkel gear for the day, $19, right here next to the pot. Super handy. And we're gonna go snorkeling and see some fish and other things, hopefully. I don't know what else we'd find, treasures maybe. And it's just so much cheaper than doing a shore excursion. So we're just doing our own thing today, which is fabulous. We've got plenty of time in port. The only thing we've got to remember is to make sure we get back to the ship on time. Because if you're late, it will not wait. Let's go, I'm really excited for this. Some tropical fish and then maybe some Hawaiian treats after. I think this could be considered a group crime. We went off-road, swerved past security, and we're heading for a beach. This is gonna be fun. We're gonna get arrested and stuck here forever. I'm okay with that, to be fair, though. But let's do this. Let's go to the beach off-road with Ben and David. Just kidding. It's public access, because the beaches here have to have public access. So let's do this. This is stunning. That is definitely worth the trek and some very questionable routes into this area, but this is like a little oasis. God, look at the lava rocks. Wow, so this is beautiful. We've came to a lava rock beach. It's only about 15 minutes away from the port. You can see our ship out there as well, a beautiful Norwegian spirit. This is gorgeous. Look at all the beautiful lava rocks. Otherworldly. Wow, this is absolutely breathtaking. The lava rock, I have never seen anything like this before. It is low tide at the moment, so we're getting the waves crashing against the rocks and we've got beautiful rock pools all around as well. Beautiful, I've, Hawaii, you are stunning. I've got, not, I haven't really got many words to describe it. It's just absolutely gorgeous. 
I'm stood here in the middle of like a little pond area that's formed whilst it's low tide and there's so many little fishies and things around this is amazing this is truly paradise it's so different to like the Caribbean and places it's just got a completely different feel which is just awesome proper recommend coming to Hawaii it's fabulous so I've made a quick change and we're going to go in the water and see if we can spot any little tropically things hey here in Hawaii let's do this holy moly that's chilly the Pacific is not the Caribbean but you soon get used to it once it's past your nether regions have to say I mean look how clear that water is it's ridiculous we had such a lovely time in this calm oasis cut off from the sea looking at all of the beautiful fish that you don't really see anywhere else but gotta say I'm still looking for Nemo and Dory Oh my gosh, guys, there's a turtle. Look, an actual turtle. We just couldn't believe our luck seeing a giant sea turtle. He was so friendly. We kept backing off to give him space, but he kept swimming back around and he was just happy chomping on the rocks. Oh, what an experience that we'll never, ever forget. Magic. Also on the way back, we went to the Corner Brewing Company and had the most amazing pizza. It was freaking delicious, highly recommend it. Just a few minutes walk from the port. Now we're gonna go back to the ship, but we're gonna get a nice little treat on the way as well. I'm really excited. I can't get over the fact that we have just seen a turtle, like completely randomly on the beach. I mean, what, when does that happen? We weren't part of any excursion or anything like that. So it was just amazing. We're just heading back towards the port area now. As we said, it's about a 15 minute walk, but a lovely walk seeing all of the Hawaiian-y things. It's great to be here. But now we're going for some shave ice. Yes, not shaved ice, shave ice. Let's do this. It's one of the delicacies here, so let's try it. So guys, we've got our shaved ice. I went for the Kiki Rainbow. Everybody likes a good Kiki Rainbow. They actually pour milk on this thing. I don't know if I'm disgusted or happy. Let's have a little taste, shall we? Shut the balcony door. That is absolutely, oh my, it's, it's literally intense. It's not, I actually genuinely thought it would just be like pieces of ice with a bit of like juice on top, but it's actually like genuinely quite tasty and delicious. The cherry is lovely, really good and refreshing. Yum a beautiful shaved d -d -d ice. Sorry, not sorry. So that's it, I've well and truly tasted the rainbow there and I liked it. Thank you so much to D and J's from Power DJ for showing us that place as well. And all of these lovely places on corner because we've never been before. So they've been our personal tour guides today, which has been fabulous. So we jumped back on the ship for another beautiful evening of sailing through the Hawaiian Islands. Well, hello, we've jumped forward a day and today we're in Kauai. Kauai? Kauai. So we've jumped forward a day and today we're in Kauai. It is spectacular when, when, we, when, when we, oh my God, I can't do this, Dave, do you want to do it? We've jumped forward a day and today we're in Kauai in Waimea Canyon and it is absolutely spectacular. This is where Jurassic Park 1 was filmed when the helicopter's coming in with John Hammond and he's tying his seatbelt and it goes through that valley there. It's absolutely stunning. The colours are beautiful. There's lots of waterfalls and things. It is truly, truly stunning. Thanks again to J and D as well for driving us around the island from Paro DJ. So they've brought us here and we're doing an island tour and it is beautiful. Oh my gosh. Wow. I don't think I've ever seen anything like this. It looks like a painting. It doesn't look real at all. We've been here about 20 minutes now and I still can't get over the fact that this is real. It looks like a painting. It is nothing that will take footage wise will do this justice at all. It's the little pops of green in the trees. They look completely fake. It looks like a, a painting. It's nuts. And all of the lines. And to think this has all been made by the weather, basically, is just nuts. It is so deep. I keep expecting for a banshee to fly past like it's on Avatar. It's just speechless. I wasn't expecting this at all. I'm still convinced it's not real. I think this is real, and then that's a painting or it's a green, green screen. screen. It does not look real at all. Because of the haze as well in the air, it just, it's really hard to explain how it looks. It just looks incredible. I've never seen anything like this before. Amazing. The view is just spectacular from every single angle. Just came around the side and I can see right down to the ocean as well where we've just came from. And we drove up here. This is honestly 
a breathtaking view. You can do this as part of shore excursions, but we've uh, hired a car, so we've drove up here and this is just the state park. $30 for all of us to park and get access to the viewing points as well. So it's $10 for your car and then $5 per person. Well worth the trip, it is stunning. So the guys used an app called Churro, which is basically the Airbnb of cars to hire out the car. Oh, hello, Mr. Chicken. But yeah, it's really cool. What's great as well is that it's completely accessible here as well. So there's ramps to get up at the viewing points. Absolutely recommend doing this. It's amazing. And like we said, we paid to get in, but we can use that at any of the places within the, the national park at the state park. So that's really fantastic as well. So we're going to go look at some more viewing points. Excuse me, Mr. Chicken. I'm trying to do some work here. How rude. <laughs> and what's even best, the bus tours are just coming in now with lots of crowds of people. So by driving and doing it ourselves, we've missed all of that, which is brilliant. We've got the whole place to ourselves. Let's go. So next up, we came to Poo Poo Heeny Heeny. Fun fact, I just went for a wee wee. Anyway, let's go get some more views, shall we? And sorry for offending anybody who's from Hawaii. You know what I'm like. Wow, so we're at the other side of the canyon now. So we're at the back side of the waterfall. It's spectacular. There's so many helicopters and planes as well. It's nuts. You can you can choose to do that and do the whole Jurassic Park entrance, can't you? Yeah, Steph, who we're travelling with, she's done a helicopter tour today. So she's probably on one of these helicopters that are flying around right now. I know she gets to land at the bottom of the waterfall, which would be pretty spectacular, but it is very expensive. It's about six, seven hundred dollars plus tax per person. So this is definitely the cheaper way to do it. Yeah, and we can <laughs> stop for lunch, grab snacks and do our own itinerary, it's really cool. It's awesome, this is amazing. It's a pinch me moment. Ow. It is real. Also, if you're looking for a good pair of walking shoes, got to recommend Crocs. I know you're probably thinking Crocs, but seriously, if you kick anything, it's like you've got rubber toe caps, it's amazing. They're like all terrain. Do love our Crocs, they're amazing. From here, we can see the island of Niihau, which is 17 miles away. You can actually see it clear as day at the moment. You can see the pop of white sandy beaches as well, all the way over there. It's gorgeous, it's famous for its sheep and honey, and it barely rains there. Good to know. This is like completely surreal. We're actually in the clouds. We're in the clouds looking down at that stunning beach there. The colours are intense. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but the vivid greens and the blues, wow. I think it's one of the most beautiful things I have ever ever seen, this is just spectacular. It is absolutely crazy. We do have a big cloud that's decided to come in and join us at the moment, but it could change in a second. It could just blow away. It looks beautiful with the cloud. Absolutely stunning, definitely worth a trek up here. And there's so many viewpoints as well, we're gonna hit four of them. But as we get up higher and higher, it gets hot in the sun, but then every now and again, a breeze comes through and it's super, super chilly, super blast of fresh air because we are so elevated high. This is really cool. It's like a alien landscape almost. Bright red soil. We're at the final lookout point and it's worth the journey up to the end of the road because look at this view. It's absolutely spectacular. But be careful, it's a sheer drop and there's no railings. Oh, it's scary, David. It's scary, but it is incredible. I was gonna say I'm like Jack from Titanic, but I think I'm more like Jelly because it is very high. Okay. I'm here now, you ready? I made it to the top. <laughs> this is <laughs> incredible. There is a sheer drop, so I am a little bit wobbly. So if you've got the nerves for it, it's worth the view. David, please come down, you're scaring me now. Get off there. Come on. It's so beautiful. I've just got the Jurassic Park theme constantly going round and round in my head at every single viewpoint. Da, 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 do, 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 do. I don't think saying I'm blown away would kind of make up for how I'm feeling right now. It is just beautiful. These are some of the most amazing landscapes I have seen hands down and we've been so lucky to travel so many places. It's beautiful. We've came for some food. Don't tell their chickens that I'm gonna have chicken tacos. It's not a good look, is it? Bless them. Maybe they're the food. Wow, those tacos were delicious. It's called tiki tacos. Really good I had the chicken tacos. David had the vegetable ones. Did feel a little bit guilty though, eating around those chickens. It was very bizarre. They were begging for food, but I was like, nope, we're gonna have no cannibalism today, please. And we couldn't miss the opportunity to try some shave ice again. I mean, just look at David's face. It was yummy. Coconut flavor this time. <laughs>
What an absolutely lovely day here in Kauai. What a beautiful island. I really want to live here. I just need to persuade David now. And the US government to give us a visa. Yes, and maybe the US government to get a green card. If there's anybody willing to marry us, we can, could we come as a pair? You know, we for were. A green card? We're down for whatever. <laughs> just kidding. Right, let's go back to the ship. Gosh, what a spectacular sail away from Kauai. Having the best time. It's just going so quick. Oh, I was so good. It's almost half over the Hawaii section of our cruise. Have you been to Hawaii on a cruise before? Let us know in the comments section below. And if you'd like to go there and make sure you hit that subscribe button as well, we'd really appreciate it. Anyway, it's dinner time. We're going to one of the specialty restaurants. We're going to Cagney's. Let's go. I'm starving. I am hungry for some food. It's been a long day in port today. We did a lot of snorkeling, swimming, hiking. It's been a really long day and just being in the sun is really tiring. So we've got Cagney's tonight and I can't wait. The best thing ever about a small ship is that it's so easy to get about. We can get anywhere in just literally seconds. It's such a difference from those big mega ships. It's awesome. It's one thing I really like about small ships. So we're in Cagney's, which is an extra pay restaurant. Now we bought the three meal dining package with this with the free at sea promotion. A little bit disappointed with the menu. All of the starters are fish, every single one of them. There's raw soups and salads as well, but the starters are all fish and things like extra charges on top of what you've already paid as well. If you want a porter house, it's gonna be $20 extra, even though it's only $5 more than the filet mignon, for example, so I'm not sure why they're charging a whole $20 if you want that. Or if you want the surf and turf, it's $25 extra on top of the price you've got paid, which is a bit crazy, but plenty of good food anyway, so I'm gonna go and Make my choice. First course, I've come for something different because I always notice I get the same thing every time I come here. I usually get the tuna tatar, but this time I went for the beef tomato. It looks really pretty and it's a big piece of tomato. I actually thought it was salmon at first because it looks like sort of pinky salmon color. It comes with some balsamic vinegar and little shallots in there as well. Really, really tasty. It's a good little starter. It's very cold. I can tell it's just came out the fridge because quite hard to chew <laughs> but they like the balsamic vinegar it's tangy salty and the little onions give it a really nice flavor as well got to admit i didn't go for something different i went for the french onion soup i love it let's go have a try shall we Ooh la la that is absolutely delicious so full of loads of different flavors loads of cheese on top as well oh it's pure heaven a good start to the meal I also got the baked onion soup. They didn't call it French onion soup though. I wonder why. Anyway, really good. The actual soup bit is super, super tasty. A nice cheese on top. Very, very good. To keep it with the maritime theme, iceberg wedge straight ahead. Yeah, I went and got a salad, guys. Doesn't it look lovely? Let's have a little taste. That is delicious, really, really good. What I like about it is that they've completely covered it with so much sauce that makes the kind of salady bits redundant and it makes it very, very tasty. Bacon bits, tomato, little scallions and things like that. It's really, really tasty and yummy. I'm gonna gobble it all up. So my main course has came. We, we forgot to talk about the food. Sorry guys, <laughs> we've just ate it. It was good. I got this shrimp, really tasty. Garlic butter on there, bit of lemon, zesty. Really good, I actually really enjoyed that. Yeah, sorry guys, we're a little bit tired. The jet lag and we've been spending a lot of time in port with a lot of sun. Yeah, I had the um, New York strip steak and it was absolutely delicious. It was cooked really well. Steph's just cut herself open. <laughs> you okay? She's okay, everybody, it's fine. It's late. Yeah, so I had the New York strip steak. <laughs> Threw the apple pie across the table. Oh God, it's like a catapult. <laughs> just put it back on the plate. Nobody will know. Uh, so funny, I think we're all so tired, yeah. New York strip steak, we had loads of sides. We had uh, truffle fries, truffle mashed potatoes, broccoli and onion rings, and they had the peppercorn sauce. It was really yummy, super tender and super delicious. So dessert time, I went for a blueberry and oat crisp. Now, it's not something we've seen on the menu before, and I'm actually impressed in first impressions because I was expecting a reheated Nutri-Grain bar or something, but it actually looks like a little crumble. 
Should we give this a go? That is really delicious. Ben, you'd absolutely love that. Full of lots of blueberries, the crumble on top is tasty, and the ice cream as well, because I love hot crumble with freezing cold ice cream. That's a little treat, a nice little surprise. Well, hit me with a carrot and call me a snowman. David George's is amazing. I got the apple pie. It looks quite nice, but honestly, we had apple pie in the main dining room last night, or rather apple strudel, which we didn't film, and it was better. It was good, it was okay, it didn't taste bad at all, but for a specialty restaurant, we'd expect a little bit better, more like David's dessert, which was a yummy blueberry crumble. Overall, that was a very good meal in Cagney's, lovely service as well. Just like to give a big shout out to our patrons, thank you so much for the extra support. You can find out about coming a patron in the description section below. You get loads in return, extra episodes, behind the scenes footage, early access to our videos and much more. That's it till next time. Happy cruising!